This is a video about nitrogen gas burst agitation for sheet film. I'm going to have to show the components of the system and explain uh, how it works and the advantages and disadvantages. Of course, the first component is the tank of nitrogen. And you get these from a welding supply store. You get a 15 year lease, it's about $260. So every 15 years, you get a, a, a bill in the mail for $260. When it's empty, you take it in, get it exchanged, that's around 25. The next, uh, I should mention I'm running the camera myself, hopefully I'll do all right. The noise you hear is the cycling timer, I'll show you that in a minute. You also need a regulator. It takes the pressure from 2,000 PSI to um, around 5 to 10 PSI, which is what is used for the system. This, now, as I say, the noise is the... Uh, cycling timer which is up here and this timer is rather old it was made in the late 50s early 60s it has vacuum tubes it has two dials duration of burst and interval between bursts I have it set for one second burst every 10 seconds which is pretty much typical what you would use I'll go ahead and show uh, what goes on next. You go through the vinyl tubing, the solenoid is on top, that's the part making all the noise. And it goes through a manifold, which is nothing but PVC pipe, to the tanks. Now what I'm going to do now is um, open a valve, show you how it works. This has to use uh, nitrogen, not compressed air. If you use compressed air with black and white chemistry, uh, what would happen is um, the developer would be oxidized almost immediately. I'm going to go ahead and close the valve and set it to one burst every 60 seconds to quiet it down a little bit. This is a um, just an empty tank uh, of which I use for stop. I don't have to use the nitrogen gas for stop. I just pick the basket up. It come, there's a basket that fits in there. Pick it up a few times. And this is a tank where I'll show you what's uh, inside. There's eight rows of tubes. They have small holes in the bottom. This is an extremely well designed system. And I've had it about 15 years. I'm going to set it back a little bit. I'm going to show you um, the first system I had. This basket was made by a company called RK. And um, it used stainless steel hangers. It fit in there like that. It's kind of hard to load. But I'll tell you what the problem was. I used it. When you put your film in, the problem here is you've got this channel here. It acts like a dam. So when the developer comes up, it hits that, goes over it, it leaves a shadow. It has holes in here, but the holes, the developer rushes through the holes and leaves streaks up the film. and. Uh, I had that problem quite a bit. I bought the system I have now. Of course, I bought it used. I bought it about 15 years ago. And it uses this type of hanger. These are acrylic hangers. You put it in there like that. Hit those little clips. There's no channel down here. There's no holes. Uh, these are very well, extremely well designed systems. It was made by a company called PPI. They're out of business. Now, the developer has trouble getting behind the film. Or rather, I shouldn't say developer because the developer only worked on the emulsion. But the fixer does. Um, I put a dye of silicone to help that. But during the fixing process, after a minute or two, I take the um, film out of the acrylic hanger and put it into a regular stainless steel hanger and finish the fixing. And the washing. 
Um, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and load this hanger again and, and show you how to drop in the basket. I'm gonna move the camera slightly. This is the basket. I just drop it in there like that. It holds uh, seven hangers. I have six. I uh, also have uh, a four by four up, four by five hanger. Also, I should mention I have uh, some uh, one gallon tanks. I'll show you how those look. What those look like. One gallon tank will hold two hangers. This is a one gallon uh, tank, also made by Arcade. Now this one actually works very very well. It's a similar system. You don't need a basket. You just drop the film down in there. The, and I can still use the acrylic hangers. And you can get two hangers in there. So if you're doing those four by fives, you get eight four by fives or two eight by ten inch sheets. Another, uh, this is a nitrogen burst distribution tube that will just drop into any any type of one gallon tank and I use that for fixing. Alright, I'll show you, uh, we'll drop it into the one of the, drop the basket into the tank and then uh, just goes in there like that. Okay, that would be one Burst every 10 seconds, once a minute, uh, or rather, uh, one one burst every 10 seconds, and for about seven and a half minutes, typically for most development. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn it down and show you one of the big advantages of the system. One of the biggest advantages is for compensating development when you have a very high contrast negative, and the way you do it is that this is a bottle of HC110. And you would need, uh, for dilution B, four ounces per gallon. This is a four-gallon tank. So it would take uh, 16 ounces to do a normal uh, dilution. But for compensating development, you only use one quarter of that. So that would only be four ounces of development for the entire four gallons. But you'd have to extend the development by a factor of four. So instead of seven and a half minutes, it would be 30 minutes. And the way that works is, when that developer comes into contact with the high density area on the negative, because it's so weak, it's all exhausted almost immediately. But the shadow areas, which have less silver develop, they continue to develop. After a minute, there's a burst, and the whole thing starts over again. One burst per minute for 30 minutes is 30 bursts, so there's 30 cycles like that. You end up with a nice uh, negative where the highlights, the overdeveloped highlights have been held back. And it works extremely well for that. I should mention that I have uh, a copy of Kodak publication E57, which goes into great technical detail about how to uh, uh, design and build a nitrogen burst system. Um, if you want it, look in the video description section, go to my website, go to the contact page, send me an email, what you want, and I have the uh, uh, technical bulletin as a PDF file. They, have, they don't publish that bulletin anymore. Uh, the main thing I should mention is, uh, is these hangers. Like I say, I've tried it both ways. This acrylic hanger works a lot better, and they wouldn't be hard to make. Uh, any acrylic shop can uh, you might make a template they can cut it this is actually cast you can just tell it's just cast it's not uh, but they would actually just glue something up anyway um, hopefully I've covered everything and uh, I think that's about it uh, thanks for watching